Let's read together. But of that day and that hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Hey, this is a whole sermon on this verse. So, so let's unpack this verse. Number one, the first thing we know about this verse is that the day of Christ's coming is set, yes? And the hour is set, that point one, that's what we know. The second thing we know is that even though it is set, nobody knows that day, nobody knows that hour. Number three, out of that, this is a shaka. Not even the angels in heaven. No, if they don't know it, I'm okay with that. Is that okay with you? Huh? Yes. Where I have a little problem is the next couple of uh, words. <laughs> this is where I have a little problem. It says, not only the angels who don't know, but somebody else don't know. Who is that? The son. Now, who is the son? Huh? Uh, talk back to me, man. Lunch time soon comes. Talk back to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, and by the way, by the way, <laughs> by the way, this is Jesus talking, you know. This is Jesus talking. Jesus says, the angels don't know that day, neither the Son. And we now understand that the Son is, is Jesus. So what Jesus is saying, I don't even know the day myself. What? what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. He's coming back. But he says, I don't even know the day I am coming back. Why? Because I don't set the day. Ah, so who knows? The Father. Notice what it says. Only, only the Father. Hang on, hang on. Here's a piece of theology. Here's a piece of theology. Hey, I'm going to deviate from my sermon. Here's a piece of theology. So, 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 so some people tell us that there's no difference between the Father and the Son. Oh, but the text tells me that the Father, <laughs> the text tells me that the Father has some knowledge that the Son doesn't have. Are we together? Are we together? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Jesus, that the Father has some knowledge. That, in other words, Jesus says, the Father is the one who sets the date. And when he tells me go, I go. Is the church with me? So, so, so on the subject, on the second coming of Christ, on the second coming of Christ, what the text says, uh, Jesus says, I don't even know the day. This is top secret that only the Father keeps it to his chest. And so Jesus wants us to understand that, um, that nor, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Well, the next thing we... The next point we want to, to, to bring to your attention is verse 33. Verse 33 says, I mean verse 33, it says, Take heed, if you look in your Bible, it says, Take heed, watch, and pray. Ha! For you do not know when the time is. Take heed what? Watch, watch, and pray. Those are two different um, action words. Take heed, be careful. Amen. Be careful. Watch. Which means that if you're sleeping, you can't watch. So the caution that Jesus gave, be careful. As you wait for the second coming of Christ, make sure that you're not just praying but that you are, watch, you are watching means that you are awake, you are conscious, you are aware. For you, here's the, here's the theme coming again. For you do not know when that time is. Over and over and over and over and over. The same thing Jesus has been saying. Keep watching, keep praying, keep alert, keep fast. Keep anchored. Have a relationship with Christ. Because if you don't know what time it's coming, you can find yourself falling asleep even in the church. 